Hi. I'm Rob. Welcome to my blog at Concord Carpenter Comments. And today we're doing a tool review on a wooden sign making jig. The tool itself, the jig itself is called the Sign Pro and it's from Miles Craft uh, at milescraft.com. The, uh, the jig itself, it comes with everything you need to make wood signs except the router and obviously the wood. The, um, the components that you need uh, to make the signs, it, it comes with these inch and a half inch letter sets, horizontal letter sets, also numbers and punctuation, as well as a two and a half inch horizontal letter set, numbers and punctuation. And um, additionally, it comes with an inch and a half and two and a half inch vertical number sets. The number sets would be useful for, say, a mailbox post uh, vertically to put the numbers in or, or house addresses, things like that. Um, the sign itself, uh, the jig itself, is, uh, is uh, pretty durable. Uh, it has these extruded aluminum rails and these heavy duty plastic end pieces. Let's show you it. It also comes with these really nice pair of uh, low profile clamps so that when you're clamping it down to the workpiece, the router goes over it and it doesn't, it's unobstructed. The, uh, this is the jig. This is the shorter version of this jig. Uh, these are the end caps. These are micro adjustments. And these are the inch and a half inch horizontal letter sets. You have to fill the entire jig with, with letters, um, even if you're not using the letters, because you need to fill the whole space. So if I was just using miles, I would have to use other letters to fill in the space. Um, what I found is helpful is I put blue tape over the letters that I don't want to route. Um, if, for instance, I wanted to do a larger sign, the jig comes with these uh, two aluminum rails and two clamps to add on to the existing clamps to make a larger sign. This right here is an example of a larger sign before I cut it down. It was about this long. So you can make a sign about this long and if you needed to go longer, you would have to unclamp, move the jig over, and continue. Uh, my first impressions when I opened the box, uh, there's an awful lot of parts, letters and things, and uh, I, found the, I found the instructions a little bit confusing. They had very small black and white pictures, a lot of words. Uh, I'm not big with the instructions. I, I like to just do things, so I winged it. Um, I started playing with it. Within 20 minutes, I had the thing put together. Within five minutes, I had a sign made. Uh, there is a bit of a learning curve. Once that learning curve was over, five minutes, uh, I was turning out signs. It was a lot of fun, very easy to use, and um, <clears throat> pretty straightforward. The, the jig itself is durable. It, it attaches to the workpiece very nicely. I use screws. Uh, you can use clamps and screws. Uh, I, I just found it you know, very, very easy to use. When I was writing the post for this review, I did a little bit of research and I found that on YouTube, Milescraft has a really, really nice video showing you, um, explaining the jig, showing you how to put it together and showing you how to use it. In retrospect, had I known that that video was available, I probably would have looked at it first. And I recommend if you're going to buy this jig to look at the video first. The video, um, it's a really good video, explains everything. And once I saw the video, I was like, that's it. That's how you do it. So the video is highly recommended and almost a prerequisite if you're going to do this jig. Uh, I see this jig being used by, say, do-it-yourselfers, homeowners, uh, uh, hobbyists, uh, people who have cottages, um, novelty gifts. Um, for instance, um, you know, I've got a friend who has a cottage and they have all these novelty signs in their house, um, where to park, where not to park, things like that. So I, I do see some uses for this. Um, it's a lot of fun. It's actually addicting once you start making these signs. And uh, like I said, once the learning curve is over, you're just churning out signs. It's that easy. Uh, once you're done making the sign, you can cut it down the size. You can decorate and route the edge of it, stain it, paint it, um, like I did to this sign. It's a lot of fun. I can see, uh, I can see doing this with kids. It would be a great um, project for kids. It's just uh, it's, it's a cool little jig. Highly recommended. Check it out at milescraft.com. I'm Rob Robillard from A Concord Carpenter Comments. Thanks for visiting my blog, and we'll see you at the next tour review. Bye-bye.